All right, guys, over here on the LS Nasty channel, it is Sunday, uh, right at noon we're filming this. Uh, I don't really edit the videos on the LS Nasty channel unless it's like a actual production. This channel is just pretty much like what we're doing. So um, we're here at the shop, and as you guys can tell by the title, we are planning on doing uh, an addition, an expansion. We're going to pour a parking pad first, yeah. um, and then we might... Um, build something on it, potentially. Yeah, build something on it at, at a later date if you're picking up what I'm putting down. So this is the shop we got right now uh, here in Irwin. Uh, it is uh, 8,000 square feet Yeah, is what it says. I don't, what is it? Uh, 60 by 100 and, something. 100 and something. So it's a pretty good shop. It's got pretty good uh, office space. As you guys know, we're doing a renovation uh, in the office. So uh, we got our guys in there right now. Um, they're, are, are they, do they leave? Yeah. Well, they probably have to get lunch, I'd assume. Working on a Sunday. Um, they're hanging drywall. Um, they're mudding it right now and, and filling in some things. We're redoing the whole thing, central air um, for the race car room and the office. Uh, so we have like um, an office area and then we have a uh, like covered uh, drop ceiling room to work on the finished race cars, which stays much cooler. And then we got the shop area, which is just no AC or nothing like that. And this is the back of the shop, as you guys can see. I painted the front two sides, but we didn't paint the back. Um, why didn't we paint the back? Uh, cost and accessibility, maybe? Yeah, ain't nobody back here. So, at the time when we painted it, we didn't own the building, uh, but we now own the building and the lot, so it is ours. I was going to make a joke, but I can't. I guess I could. It's like picking a girl up at the bar, and she's mm. got all her makeup on, and when you get her home... This is what you get. This is what you get. So, um... Yeah, you can see like we got a little, little shed there, like makeshift shed for our AC unit. A lot of stuff when we didn't own it was like we didn't like do it too permanently in case we ever moved. Uh, but now this is our forever home. So we looked at the property line and everything, and the property goes way uh, further back than just what's cut out here. As you can see, it's got like this like ditch that wasn't there, but we dug out because there were some drainage issues, which now that the ditch is here. Uh, but the property line goes pretty far back. I used to think it was to that fence, but it goes much further back that way. And then it goes all the way to the top of the hill. So I got some concerns with these trees leaning over the shop. You know, we got some expensive stuff, especially in like, I mean, really throughout the whole shop, whether it's just cars, tools, equipment, parts, yeah, uh, anything. we have it. it it'd be, yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, a lot of these trees are leaning over. So I think we're going to uh, try to cut down some trees that overhang wouldn't you say it's a pretty good idea yeah so we're going to cut down some trees that overhang and then we're going to cut back uh a lot of these trees here that overhang and we're going to put our addition out this way so all right matt um you can take it from here so right now we're thinking about a uh 25 by 75 so. now this isn't like an official creek this was just dug out for drainage so it might be something where like we've put like a french drain in or um just gravel that area in yeah you know maybe put a uh a culvert in and then uh get some you know at least right here on this corner you know that doesn't really matter and you know that back there we're getting farther away but just right here in this corner right here which is just pretty firm but might need to make sure that uh when they pour it that it's tamped down real good and you know shake it vibrate it and make sure that it's not soft or anything right here um that's 25 foot right there so as you can see it's it's outside it doesn't seem like a lot inside 25 feet with the roof over it i mean it seems like quite a bit and the reason why we're doing this addition is uh we're going to make this back area more of our production area yep. uh we're, we're planning the goals are to get a cnc uh right now we got a plasma table uh, and then we're going to add another i say asset to the the yep. deal we have here um yep. so we want to have room for that we want to have a chassis table because i know me and you we just want to build a car from scratch start to finish all in-house yep which i think would be cool yeah, later yeah. on down the road get a chassis table you know some of the stuff for you know i'm sure for sure mine's not gonna be the only one that gets wrecked so we're gonna have to fix them in the future so <laughs> um it's just part of it and uh having the chassis table would definitely help build another car you know all the little things like if we had a chassis table the, the new bad apple would be much simpler um, um, chassis table. tossing it on there getting it on there and getting everything perfect um so we're gonna do that and it really opens a lot of room in the shop area because right now we just it's packed in there i mean we got a lot of stuff the plan is we're, we're gonna get rid of some cars to make room we're gonna add an addition to make room we're going to put some machines in here to make room and then um, we're gonna offer you guys a lot of parts that we use 
that really take our stuff to the next level to take your race program to the next level so <clears throat> that's why we're so the plan is we're going to go 25 we're getting two price quotes from marcus for a 25 by 50 and a 25 by 75 um 50 at a minimum yeah 50 at a minimum 75 preferred yep. uh but we're only going to cut the shop out um to where it's accessible open for two bays so it'd be 20 it'd be 50 deep will be cut out and then that last 25 will be closed off yeah so put like a, a, a wall up and then have a you know a secondary you know be able to enclose it to um how some of our other stuff we're thinking about doing so right now we're at a 25 foot here and let's see let's go 50. i think 50 is like 50 is right at this little line there with the gutter if i'm not mistaken we're gonna say goodbye to the uh, uh short course track here um it was a good run i think i'm just gonna push it down there and then make it an oval track for all you nascar fans it's 50 right there yeah so pretty much right here so for the shop will be cut open it'll be accessible um going straight back and, th and the plan is we're gonna make the the roof lower and then have a partition uh, so if we are doing like some heavy like machining or plasma tables working hard It's not gonna just be completely open to the whole shop. Yeah, so I'm gonna f we're gonna set up a, a, a good exhaust fan over near the plasma table So when that thing's cutting it's exhausting uh, And then some more other you know ventilation areas But yeah, the, the shop's gonna be about 12 foot tall because we don't need the, the height because we're not gonna be putting a lift in here uh, A lot of the CNC's we're looking at are you know, no higher than 12 foot so uh, that'll work good. So it's just gonna go. So the the roof will be will be off center or different heights. So it'll the, this roof will stub inside that roof, and then we'll seal it off. We'll have a gutter here, and then uh, this will have gutter too. So that'll uh, keep all that. And then something you know we're gonna pour down to the footer right there, and uh, try to link them both together as uh, best as possible. You know, anybody that's ever put a two concrete slabs together especially something that's this old to a new one and you know okay so the building was built in 73 yeah which so, i don't know it maybe seems kind of old yeah i don't know my paint job made, brought into the 2000s at yeah, least did, so, so this is uh this is 50 so this would be the open accessible area for the shop now you go another 25 and then this 25 by 25 area will be for something else that we have in store here so that right there that's a pretty good size chunk you know yeah especially if we packed in there I mean, we could go however much later on um just kind of keep expanding until it fits our needs so we're planning on doing uh we'll do like some uh four by four columns maybe six by six i'll have to check out the engineering see what the uh recommended snow load is for this area and uh we'll be doing that we'll be running uh z purlings so if you guys know anything about metal buildings, most of the uh, uh, roof structure is Z purling and then the outside structure is like a C purling. So it looks like a C um, and then the other ones, of course, is Z. The decking, the roof sits on top of that. Uh, so we're, we're not going to build it to where it's uh, we'll support a second store or anything because I don't really see that. Yeah, we'll never put a second store. Yeah, not not out here. But, um, you know, that'll be, that'll be pretty good. We're going to try to do it all ourselves. Uh, I've done quite a bit of metal as if building. we don't have enough going on yeah we don't have enough but it's one of those things you know this if, if you if you called somebody and said hey i want a 25 by 75 edition put on the shop it's going to be very expensive so i think we can get it and we can source some of the uh the metal siding you know some 12 foot metal siding uh probably used since we're going to paint it anyway same thing with the the decking for the roof um put put some used decking on there we don't need anything new we can build all the columns in-house so it'll uh it'll really cut down on our cost um to assemble it and you know two or three people in a couple of days can put up a shop i mean you know it, it's it's very simple so. Um, so that's our plans here um really trying to make nasty racing as nice as we can um yeah, so, yeah. We can too. yeah because it's some of that stuff takes a lot of room you guys think you know it's it's a big shop but man it gets whew, so packed yeah when you start thrashing on stuff and like your work area is pretty large and crunch time i mean ideally we we we're not really adding cars to the build to to what we have to do so we're just knocking them down we get them down then they're done you know just simple maintenance and stuff like that um and then we can really i mean i think i i'd i like making this stuff um yeah, I so think i think be, that's cool yeah i have a lot of you know I, I can design a lot of things um 
the 3D model stuff, right tool pass. So if we have a CNC, we can do, we, we have to outsource everything, but in-house, you know, we can run some small runs of parts, some large runs of parts. Um, but the plasma table, we have a lot of cool ideas. So it's gonna, um, you know, who, who knows, maybe in the future, it really takes off when we get a fiber laser. You know, there's, there's really, uh, there's no downside to, um, saving the money to buy the tools because yeah. they're they're definitely assets yeah hopefully once we have now we're going to try to make some money to fund like so the, the plasma table will generate money to fund a cnc and the cnc will fund money to generate you know more equipment so just put it back in so um like john said you guys get cool products and we get to make them and i think uh it's a win-win for everybody yeah so that's our plan here for our uh, ls nasty uh, we got a lot of stuff going on, so we're getting some some quotes out there. Though really, the only thing we're, we're not going to be able to do is the concrete. But luckily for us, Marcus and his family they uh, they do concrete for a living. So uh, he's part of the Ellis Nasty family. So he came by and got some measurements. Going to get us a price and uh, see if we can get it all knocked out. We we luckily have enough resources where we know enough people and uh, with what we do with the storm stuff and general contractors and building stuff and developing and everything really the only thing we can't do is pave and the guy that that does my paving is just the worst right are just kind of slow too yeah he's kind of slow so shout out to jake he's part of the the he is the only right now uh nasty racing no prep sponsoree which we don't have any stickers on his stuff anymore so yeah that's what we got going on we got uh the ls nasty renovations are about to take place and uh we got a lot of work to do so Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you guys have any comments, recommendations, I make these videos just to keep you guys in the loop of what we got going on. But if you're like, hey, I'd probably do this, or hey, have you thought about this? Or you guys yourself are local to us uh, and can provide some assistance, as in like you do metal structures or stuff like that, hit me up, let me know. We'll, uh, we'll get in touch and uh, we'll make it happen.